Okay? In this case, you need to, that's what you need to do to teach your horses to change leads, to pick up the correct lead, and that is the position they need to start understanding in your approach to a barrel and your exit of a barrel. Okay? Those are things that as you're patterning that horse and going slow, you can come up there and stand that shoulder up with your leg up front, push that hip in with your leg underneath you, bend them a little bit, make the corner. As you trot out of there or slowly lope out of there, you do it again to emphasize to them. Don't come out of this corner and flip your butt the other way. Stay over here. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. <coughs> so to do that, the important thing here, did all of you see that when I did that, my horse's shoulders kept walking straight forward, okay? So, what we're going to do here in a minute is I'm going to have you guys go around on the rail and then push your horse's hip off, right? Okay? A lot of times when we go to do this, people ask that hip to move over, and they move too much sideways. See how my horse is crossing over now? Mm -hmm. Okay? That's good that my horse is respecting my left leg and moving his hips over, and that's better than nothing. Okay, getting that response is a good response. But to do a correct haunches in, what I would rather see happen is my front feet are walking forward. I'm going to ask that hips to step over there. See how his front feet are still walking forward? No longer do I have that crossover. Does everybody see that difference? Okay. Um, so my right leg has to tell that shoulder to stay here, not get twisted over there like that. Right 